Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's MPC key quick tip, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect an external controller to the MPC key. Now, I'm also gonna give you an example of why you might wanna do this. And I'm also gonna talk about a couple of really cool things that the MPC key allows you to do. So traditionally, if you wanted to connect a controller to a keyboard, let's take the Nord Stage 3 for example, because that's one I use a lot. If I wanted to control the Nord Stage 3 with a controller like the Oxygen Pro Mini, I would need a few things. So first, I would need to power the controller because the Nord Stage 3 doesn't power the controller. The controller needs USB in order to feed it power to control. So I would need a USB cable and I'd need to plug that into something, whether it's a computer or a USB uh, adapter for a power outlet. And that's how I would power the controller. And then I would need to connect the controller to the keyboard, let's say the North Stage 3, with a traditional five pin MIDI cable. And in the case of the Oxygen Pro Mini, it uses this little eighth inch MIDI out, so you need a converter as well. So you need three different components for the Oxygen Pro Mini. If you're using another controller that has full size MIDI outputs on it, you would need two, the MIDI cable and the USB cable. Now there may be some workstations and keyboards out there that can power the controller and that is how the MPC key works. So what we can do is we can ditch the traditional MIDI cables and we can just go with a standard USB. So the great thing with the MPC key is on the back, we have three USB ports. We have one that's used to connect the MPC key to your computer. If you were going to control maybe the MPC2 DAW or another DAW that you have, or you wanted to bring in some new sounds or updates and things like that, you can do that by plugging the MPC key to the computer via this port. These other two ports here are for plugging in accessories like audio interfaces, and I'll talk about that in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed. Or, in our case, we're going to plug the Oxygen Pro Mini in. And so I'm gonna show you this, because as soon as I plug this in, I'm gonna go in the back here, plug it in, and voila, our controller turns on. And the really cool thing with the MPC key is, it's kind of classified as a keyboard workstation. It can be a controller, or it can also host controllers. And what's really cool is the internals of the MPC system allow you to actually go into the settings and control what this does, very similar to how you would change the settings in your DAW for a controller. So over on the MPC key, let's go into fabric and let's grab brass French horns. And if we play this here, So as you can see, I'm able to use the controller to control the MPC. Pretty slick, and all we had to do was plug it in via the USB cable, and the MPC key is able to not only power it, but to also translate what it's sending for messages into the MPC key engine. So let's go into our menu and let's go to preferences and then MIDI sync. And you'll see that this is similar to what you'd see in your DOS. So you have your keyboard, which is the MPC key keyboard, the MIDI port, which we have on the back. And then we have the Oxygen Pro Mini that's showing up here in our MPC key. We can see this for the inputs. We can also see it for the outputs. So this is where you can see kind of the settings for your MIDI controller that you have plugged in through this USB port. So let's go back and let's talk about a use case for why you would want to plug a controller in to your MPC key because the MPC key already has a keyboard on it. So why would you want a second keyboard? So one example of using an external controller with the MPC key is maybe in a live situation where you wanna have one sound on the MPC key keyboard and then you wanna have a second sound on the controller. So let's go in and talk about how we would set this up in the MPC key. It's gonna be very similar to the way that you would set this up in your DAW if you were gonna do this same sort of thing. So on track one, we have our French horn. Let's go to track two 
and let's choose maybe the studio string slow string sound. So if we just go to our track again. So the way this does this is when you go to a track, it arms that track so you can play. And if we go to track one, then we have our French horn. So now what we can do is we can go into our track view. And this gives us a nice little view of our tracks. So on track one, we have our French horn. Track two, we have our slow string. Now you'll notice all ports, all ports, and then we have this little all under here. So this is our input section. So right now you can see that both of these are set to receive all incoming MIDI messages. So if we go into shift and we arm our second track, so if we play these. So let's go ahead and let's set track one to MIDI channel one and track two to MIDI channel two. Now if we go to keyboard control, we can see that the keyboard is set to MIDI channel one. So if we come back out here, now when we play track one, we aren't getting any of the strings. So let's go onto our controller and let's go into our global menu and let's change our global MIDI channel to channel two. We're able to play two sounds at one time. And your scenario might be a little different. Maybe you don't play the two keyboards at the same time, but that is kind of the very basics of how you would set up two different sounds, one on the controller, one on the keyboard by using those separate channels. And your setup on your controller might be a little different than the Oxygen Pro Mini, but usually on all controllers, you're able to change the MIDI channel that it's sending notes out on. So I hope this was helpful for you in seeing how the MPC key can power a controller and also some of the cool things that you can do with it within the MPC key. Because it's functioning similar to a DAW, we can do some of the same little cool tricks that we do within a DAW to play multiple instruments on our different keyboards. So thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for some other videos around the MPC key. Lots coming soon. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.